Welcome back, everyone. Well, flavors and flair from Japan and Taiwan have been fused together at a Hermosa Beach restaurant. Our own Amber Fister met up with the husband and wife team to get the story and the inspiration behind the South Bay local favorite known as Ryla. Welcome to Hermosa Beach's brand new hotspot, Ryla. It is Asian California cuisine and it's amazing. But the real reason I'm bringing you here is because I want to introduce you to the husband and wife duo behind it. Come in. Hey, Ray. Hi. Hi, how are you? Great. Uh, this looks incredible, so thank you for uh, yeah, having a feast for me. Thank you for joining us. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about Ryla. Here's what I love about it is the fact that your background, Japanese, your wife, Cynthia, is Taiwan, and I just feel like you guys have created this marriage of incredible flavors. Yeah, what makes Ryla work is, um, you know, obviously both of our backgrounds, um, but, um, you know, Ryla is really about LA and California cuisine, and this is kind of our version of what California cuisine means to us. Yeah, okay, well, let's get to some of these places because I'm looking at this right now. This looks very unique to me, something that you wouldn't find in the South Bay. Yes, yeah, so this is a oxtail and curry rice um, with some spring vegetables and pickled green strawberries. Here we have our pork tokatsu, which is like a pork cutlet, and then our Nashville style fried chicken karage, which is a Japanese style fried chicken. Okay. Um, a matcha tiramisu here. Which I'm gonna try. <laughs> is and this then, one of your, obviously, gonna be a fan favorite here? It's very, very popular, yeah. Mm. Matcha, matcha is very popular where my mother's from, so I had to put it on the menu here. Okay, I see why. That's incredible. Thank you that very much. That is so good. And then what do we have here? Uh, this is our soy milk pudding uh, with our seasonal sorbet, which is strawberry right now, and fresh strawberries and a ginger donut. Love it. You guys have done so. I mean, all of this looks like almost art. <laughs> you know, I don't know Thank if I'm gonna eat much. it, but I will, trust me. Okay, let's also talk about the drinks because Grandma's cigarettes, where did we get this from? Yeah, so this uh, tea is actually, um, we infuse our um, scotch with a tea that we get from my mother's hometown. And so that works really well with the penicillin and yeah, that's the why it penicillin. works. And by the way, when you smell this, it kind of does smell like cigarettes, but in a really good way, not. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is actually from a tea shop that my mother, uh, my grandmother and my mother frequent. Okay. Um, but my grandma didn't smoke, that's the only thing. Okay, that's good, <laughs> that's good, but I love that you said grandma's cigarettes. And here's the thing, you were mentioning something about the matcha with your mom and, and the drink for your grandma. You have somehow kind of created a menu where your family is involved, and I think that's really cool. Thank you very much, yeah. yeah. they are. They would be pretty stoked. They would be. And by the way, we have to talk about the woman behind the man because there always is one when something is successful. And I want to bring in Cynthia because we are doing a demo today, right, with your carrots. Now, these are not yes. any ordinary carrots. Hi, Cynthia. Hi. Here huh? to demo our gochujang glazed carrots. Ooh, this looks incredible. Okay, so let's chat. What are we doing here? So first I'm gonna put down the aloe yogurt. It provides a little bit of a sweetness and brightness for this dish. Okay. Um, I love this dish because we really um, showcase the different carrots from the farmer's market. We use green carrots, uh, green carrots, orange carrots from County Line, yellow and purple carrots from Wiser Family Farms. Um, it provides a great contrast and it's really beautiful on the dish as well. I was gonna say this, I don't wanna eat it because it looks so beautiful, but I am. I'm definitely <laughs> going to eat it. Now what is this that's going on top? Uh, so we just put a little bit of crispy garlic, um, some toasted peanuts uh, for a little bit of texture and the nuttiness works really well. Um, these are the actual tops of the carrots that we fried. And then the flowers that you see over there are flowering cilantro, so it's coriander flowers. Yeah, but it adds a nice little punch to the dish edible, as well. yeah. This is great. And by the way, how do you guys, I mean, listen, if I'm in the kitchen with my husband, he's in there for like 20 seconds too long, I'm, I'm pissed. So <laughs> how do you guys manage to work together? I feel like you must complement each other in, in such a good way. Um, yeah, I think she's the patient one, okay. and I am the loud one. That's the only <laughs> way I can say it. And somehow it just you make magic in the kitchen. Yeah, it, somehow it works. Okay, well, I'm gonna try this because this looks incredible. Uh, Cynthia, thank you so much, and I've just ruined your plate, but it's gotta happen. Oh, that's incredible. All those flavors, it's like a sweet, whoo, guys. Spicy. <laughs> sweet, spicy, it's perfect. Guys, congrats on Ryla. 
Thank you so much. I think this is a great restaurant for the South Bay. You guys have outdone yourself, Cheers. and I say we. Cheers. I say we eat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Feast on. Cheers.